My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? Happy Labor Day, Zach. Uh, doing all right, man. Dude, the weather's kind of been fantastic. A little chill in the air. Best August ever? A September ever. Mm. How about the sports? They're really, really winding down and winding up. Aaron Judge broke the home run record two years ago, and he's kind of doing it again. Unfortunately, the Yankees are visiting, and his home run plaque hath been stolen twice. Thought I had a Texas hat. This isn't a Texas hat. Tell him, Jim. This is sad news on a lot of fronts. Yes. All directed towards the Texas Rangers and the people who do the stuff in the stadium. You could paint it if you wanted to commemorate the spot. Drill it. You know, you could like... You don't think putting it down with icing was the right move? The super glue doesn't work. Crazy. And it seems like the fan base doesn't want that memory. They don't want to buy a ticket to go see the Rangers game. And they're like, what the fuck is this? Right. Yeah. They're not going to replace it because it was kind of a weird thing to do in the beginning. What if someone high up in Texas was like, hey, we want to put this there. The lower ups were like, no, we like the Rangers. We don't want to put this there. We'll put it on bad so it gets stolen twice. Now there's no plaque. Not even cleaning up like the super glue. Like once you decide to not. Pretty nuts. Once you decide we're not going to. Yeah, we're not going to replace it. To not be like, all right, go buff Stand that up. Yeah. This generation's lazy. Welcome back. What's this almost a breakdown you showed me earlier? The shortest ball put in play okay. of the season. You can't put a ball in play and have it travel less than this ball. It's a record across the history of baseball. Jack Lopez up to bunt. They say, let's do the suicide squeeze, Washington. He's old school. He's having fun. Let's see if these kids can do it. Jack Lopez bunts it. He really catches the ball. That's what they teach you to do. Sure. Like, it's impressive that he got it to travel nowhere. He doesn't run to first, I'm guessing, because he thinks it's going to be a foul ball. Right. Cal Raley just picks the ball up and tags Ward out. It's kind of like everyone's out here. And then just the laziest flip. To get the out at first double play. But yeah, I don't, you'll never see a ball put in play and travel less than that. What do they say on a suicide squeeze? Just get it down. Jack Lopez did. He listened to the coaches. Didn't run. But he did everything else wrong. I'm J-Lo. That's what I heard that he walks in every clubhouse and he says, I prefer to go by J-Lo. Jack Lopez. I didn't know he was. Now we do. Now I do. No such thing as bad PR. Yeah, yeah, murders, you know. Getting caught in a scam. Sound familiar, Zach, though? Which part? The murder. (laughs) Speaking of... The not sports is crazy. More sports. More sports first, though. Teaser. And it's brought to you by... DraftKings. Bet you didn't think I was going to do that. Ooh, now you owe him maybe a hot dog, because that's what Chris Rose... Three, two, one... Eight and a half. Yeah. Chris Rose. He works here. He's one employee of the week. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, you got to start teeing up the episode. What's coming? Yeah. I said officiates. I, he, I don't think he was the official, but he commentated on the Kobayashi versus Joey Chestnut eat off. 15 years in the works. What an honor. Kobayashi got dusted. <laughs> Embarrassed. Hey, if you have a 1v1 matchup, right. you better be in the same league. Yeah. And and worst of all, Zach, worst of all. Listen up. Listen, Kobayashi Focus. did well. He set his personal record. Yeah. So it's not like he had an off night. Like so did JHS. So Kobayashi's not going to go home and be like, I could beat him. I just had an off night. No, dude. You, had your best you did the best you've ever done, and he beat you by 20 hot dogs. You're you're undeserving of being in this show. Some people are born with it. Obi-Yashi. Maybe it's Maybelline. You have a something to say? You look like you were about to try. Yeah. I got nothing. Was that a sneeze or something? I liked what you were saying. Yes, maybe it's Maybelline. The not sports that got teased before is right up James's alley. Yeah, Jake said, hey, I think you're going to like this story. And I was like, yeah, that's good. I like it. And I kept reading. I was like, this yeah. story is Awesome. So there's this remote island, which actually is your alley. You love islands. Marion Island between South Africa and Antarctica. And what happened was in the early 1900s or 1800s, humans introduced mice to the island, which is fine. Mice are the on boats pirate would ships. Stop on the boats the would island. stop. The mice would, mice would get off. That boom, happens, boom, boom, okay? Boom, boom. That happens. You know. The, the mice started... Um, fucking each other, which creates more mice. And That's all of a sudden, not in the article. All of a sudden, the mice are eating the seabirds. Yeah. They started by eating the baby chicks of the seabirds. Then they figured out that they can kill the adult 
albatrosses. In the saddest way possible. Yeah, they climb up on them and just weigh them down. So then they can't fly because they got mice on them and they just slowly eat them till they die. That's sad. Uh, I didn't think a group of mice Zach. could kill a bunch of birds. So you're thinking, wait, how is this story good? <laughs> Listen to this. In 1948, researchers took five cats to the island. Right, Charlie Kelly. What did those five cats do? They said, why would we eat these mice when we can eat these big old birds? And the cats started murdering the albatross. Yeah. Then the cats started fucking, which creates more cats. So then they had feral cats all across the island killing an estimated half a million birds a year. And that lasted to the 70s. And over the next 20 years, they eradicated the cats. Hey, we fucked up. Just like a three that? decade fuck up. No, four, 40 years, 1948 to 1991. All these cats we brought let's now kill them uh-huh you like and that you how, like that how, they, how they eradicated the cats one dude it was a mr beast video you're not allowed off this island until you murder all the cats it's the employee of the week the wiggly dumb you stupid fat american employee of the week this week is jp jp that's what he goes by. Talking giants. Bobby Skins. Bobby Skins and Jay Peen. Congrats, Jay Peen. Congrats to Jay Peen. Football season starting. Giants. Looking good. The betters have him as uh, worst, worst, worst. Worst offense, worst defense, worst outcome. Uh, but I have him going five and the other number. A football analyst got asked, hey, who do you like in the NFC? And they said, you know, it's tough to say who I like, but I think the Giants will be bad. And that was JP? No. All right, congrats, congrats. Panic. And now I will zip this paper. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. With football season kicking off, it's the perfect time to dive into the action with our partners at DraftKings, the number one place to bet on touchdowns. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will instantly get 250 in bonus bets plus one month of NFL Plus Premium. Did you hear that? Plus one month of NFL Plus Premium. Now that's something we can all celebrate. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB and bet just $5 on any wager and get 250 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB. Um, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Anything that can be stolen will be stolen? My dad was at put the... Put a TV there. See what happens. My dad was at Gone. the Boone home run game. And when he left, he said the guy next to him ripped the seat off and was carrying it home like a briefcase from Yankee Stadium. And what about that time I was leaving the Mets game? Guy shook his dick at Jake. 